What is happening? Okay. Well, a couple things. If you hear Coco Melon in the background, I need it a minute. Also, my husband's on Xbox. Also, happy Father's Day. Also, I look crazy. I was just doing a photo shoot slash video. I don't know. I was I was feeling some type of way and then building my confidence. So I made a video and my makeup was really dark. So now I just look kind of crazy. So excuse that. Anyway, welcome beauties. Today, I am trying something I've been wanting to try for a while and that's making cold brew. And I have a little tiny, it's dirty. Well, it's not dirty, it's just watermarks. It's also cracked, um, but it's just the base outside of the base, I think. The glass isn't cracked, so we're okay. But anyway, um, I'm gonna use my French press, my little baby one, and try and make some. I also have, I was informed by my cousin that there is another coffee on the way to me for my birthday, and I'm super excited about that, so I might make a second video to see if that coffee is better. But right now, I'm just gonna use my Great Value, which is, if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I love this coffee. It's the Dark Roast and they don't have it in stock very often. I find it hard to find. Find it hard to find, yeah. Light was a little bit in the way for those takes, but I'm not redoing it, because that's me. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna give you guys the full ratios, but I'm gonna be doing half, because I don't have like a big French press, and the recipe is for a normal like eight to 12 cup French press and I'm one person. So this is what I got. The recipe calls for four ounces. Oh my goodness, my hair up here is just popping out. Okay, anyway, so it calls for four ounces of ground coffee and then it calls for three cups of cold water. But I have a small French press. So remember, I'm not doing the full recipe, but that is the full recipe. I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay. Um, hi. Hello. Real quick. Um, I'm gonna do. I keep going down because my legs are giving. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. I gotta do this. I gotta do one of them. Um, half. This is half a cup of coffee, <laughs> and then one cup. Well, I'm gonna do one and a half cups of water because it calls for. <laughs> one to one and a half cups of coffee regularly. Like you could do one to one and a half. So I'm like debating, do I do one cup? I don't know. I'm gonna try and do this as best I can with her and my, oh, oh no. I made a mistake. Oh boy, the water's gonna be worse. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see how much we can fit in here. Okay, I think we'll be perfect. Remember, you can use cold water. It says to stir it. This is so weird to me. Okay, so now we're just gonna cover it with some plastic wrap, because I don't wanna leave the actual French press piece in there. Okay, so if you guys don't know what cold brew coffee is, it's pretty much like, I don't know if it's stronger than espresso, but it's definitely stronger than regular iced coffee. Um, she just woke up from a nap, so don't even mind what's happening. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's a really, really strong, potent coffee. So you pretty much set it in the fridge and let it sit for like about 12 to 16 hours. You can even do 24 hours if you really wanna go crazy with it. I don't know how that would taste. I'm gonna do 12 hours and see how it tastes just because it's such a small French press. Um, but that's just me and that's how I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna do it a couple different ways and let you guys know what's 
what's happening, what I like better, um, especially when I get this other coffee. So anyway, yeah, we'll see um, what's going on tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys what I was doing before this video that I look like this now. So here we go. but I brewed the cold brew for about 12 hours. I am going to taste with cream and without cream, just so I can get the full effect to see if it actually tastes good. Oh, wow. Literally every flavor note in that coffee came out, which is amazing. So that's really good. Wow, that worked so well. I mean, it's super strong and there's so much flavor behind it. I was worried because I always thought the warm water is what brought out all the flavor and everything, but this is a game changer. Now I will recommend if you're gonna do this that you need a bigger one because you probably only get like maybe two cups of iced coffee out of this maybe three if you're going small because it's so strong you don't need a ton of it so if you're one person and you're probably the only person that's gonna drink it in your house you could probably get away with brewing it like this um, but I think just cutting that that um, recipe in half for me because I have such a small French press works perfectly. So if you are in a situation like I am and you're the only person that's going to drink it, I recommend doing that. But if you're going to buy a French press and you are not sure if you're gonna use like cold brew every day, if you wanna make it for every day, I would get a big one. So that's just my suggestion. I highly recommend doing this. I don't think I would have had to wait more than the 12 hours but that's just because, like I said, it's so small. But anyway, yeah, it did work, and I'm gonna do this again for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you out to decide whether you wanted to make your cold brew at home or not, because I know it's more expensive because it's a long process for these coffee shops to do. So obviously it's gonna be more expensive. Um, I think it's even more expensive than espresso. I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it is just because it's kind of tedious and it has to sit a long time. So thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and subscribe. And I am probably gonna do a new video tomorrow. So sometime this week, there will be another video up for you guys.